people join. people are up. I'm usually up <laughs> scrolling at this time. It's a very quick live, maybe just like 15, 20 minutes. It's a very informative live, especially for women, for moms and dads as well. I'm telling people to join. Beauty by Aj too is my it's actually my little sister. She's a really dope um, hair stylist. Um, so you guys can check out her page. She she specializes in color, wigs, you know everything. She's really really great. So you guys can check her out. So I just want to wait until a few people are on. Maybe we'll start like in two minutes. Kimona, I'm new to this live thing. How am I doing? <laughs> Just one more minute. Hey, Yvonne. Hey, thanks for joining. <laughs> thanks for joining. Okay, one more. <laughs> I'm learning from you. You guys, the millionaire chick, my big sis Kimona, she's a um, one hell of a realtor in Westchester County in Connecticut. So for all your realtor, realtor needs, you guys check her page out. She's, she's really good. She's hot too. <laughs> oh, the topic is dental care and pregnancy. So I'm gonna start now. Hey, Raquel, thanks for joining. So the topic is dental care and pregnancy, like I said. Last week, there was a TikTok of a young woman. She looked pretty young. Um, and in the TikTok, she had showed she had no teeth. And then she had turned around and came back and put in her dentures. And everybody was like, whoa, like, you know, this young, you know, lady, she has dentures. So the next day, she explained that she had lost her teeth during, pre like, because of pregnancy. I think she was like a mom of five or something like that. And and then I shared on my stories, my quick experience with my teeth during pregnancy. And like, this this can really, really happen. My teeth didn't fall out, but um, I had a lot of um, discomfort during um, my pregnancy with my teeth, especially my second pregnancy. So then the next day, uh, one mom I follow, I think her name, like the Instagram is Rosario Live. No, Rosario Life. She's the mom with eight boys. Yeah, you see? See, it's very, it's very, very common. Um, thanks for sharing, Sis Kimona. And she, somebody asked her, she did a Q&A. Somebody asked her, why don't you smile in any of your pictures? And she was like, with every child, she's a mom of eight. She always has to get some dental care done. And she also said she just had some extractions. So that let me know that... Um, pregnancy did a, a lot of wear and tear on her teeth and she possibly had periodontal disease extreme periodontal disease and lost her teeth so i then did a poll on my story and i asked um moms who said i mean i asked you guys um those who are pregnant or you you know your mom or whatever um did your provider ever speak to you about you know what can happen to your teeth during pregnancy and surprising, 67% said no, and 33% said yes. And I'm like, wow, why aren't 
you know, your provider is telling you this. Um, thankfully, my provider did. Um, so I just want to share with you guys, um, you know, how common it is and, you know, educate your moms out there and ladies, you know, how to take care of your teeth from my own experience and so forth. So um, not only in pregnancy, you're going to lose your, you know, not lose, but your hair is going to be affected. Your body's going to affect it. You might lose your mind a little bit. <laughs> your edges but your teeth can also be affected and why are your teeth affected in pregnancy um it's because basically the hormones your body is you know changing to you know to carry a child there's a lot of estrogen going on there's a lot of progesterone going on the ligaments in your body are very loose so as a pregnant woman you know you may have a lot of round ligament pain around your hips I'm um, in your pelvic area and your back and it's because like your hips are you know stretching out loose to you know to carry all that weight so that also those loose ligaments excuse me also include your teeth so um that's just basically why just your pregnant your body just going through so much your hormones are just up and down well up and um your teeth are just one of those things that get affect i mean that are get, that get affected so for me my first pregnancy i don't remember my teeth um like going through anything serious ever i can say i did do a deep cleaning um but i don't remember my teeth going through anything too serious but my second pregnancy i also had i had braces on during my second pregnancy which caused a lot of pressure on my teeth and my teeth were being moved around a lot but in addition to that my teeth were loose like my bottom teeth were loose the top teeth my two front teeth my laterals and my canines i had a bad bite but like i said in addition to that they were really really loose and um even like the orthodontists they were like really concerned about that but they really couldn't do much about it until i you know got the braces off and i gave i gave birth um, so I even went to go see a periodontist, which is like a bone gum specialist. And he did say I had some bone loss, especially in the upper teeth. Um, and then I also experienced cr like intense um, sensitivity in my gums, like intense sensitivity in my gums. Like I would brush and it would be so, so painful and it would bleed like my mouth would bleed like when I would rinse my mouth like it would just hurt eating would just hurt especially towards the end of the pregnancy you know where things are just like really getting out of whack <laughs> um so you know that that was my experience and then right after i gave birth i believe i had a dentist appointment you know one or two weeks right after and i can just feel like my teeth and gums like just going back to normal my bottom teeth like i said they were loose during the pregnancy but they quickly snap back they quickly strengthen up um the upper teeth the four upper teeth these upper teeth um they strengthened but not as before like i said i also had a bad bite so that kind of you know messed things up as well but they definitely strengthened before like like immediately after i gave birth like things just went right back to normal um so not only can you just lose teeth in pregnancy or have loose teeth but you can also get like pregnancy um tumors where it's like big sacks of pus on your gums um that did not happen to me but um i've seen pictures of it before and like i said that's just from just your hormones and then also you can get a lot of cavities during pregnancy some moms um they have a lot of cravings uh, during pregnancy you may be eating things that you usually don't eat you may be drinking a lot of soda and juice and just sugary things that you usually don't um, have because you're just pregnant and that's what you want so those things you know they cause cavities cavities if you don't take care of them then you know you're possibly can you know lose your teeth and have you know silver caps in your mouth also vom and vomiting if you're a woman who um who will may experience a morning sickness 
some women have morning sickness like in the first trimester some have it all through the pregnancy you know the vomit the acid there's acid in your vomit so you know that getting on your teeth can cause your teeth to erode um i had some morning sickness with my second pregnancy but you know nothing you know extensive so um the reason why dental care is very important in pregnancy is because um bacteria in your mouth if it's not taken care of it can enter your bloodstream and then it can also affect your baby which may cause your baby to um be delivered or like preterm like a premature baby and i also read that um bacteria in your mouth like you know excessive bacteria in your mouth can also is um has a correlation with um preeclampsia which is a very um a very very scary diagnosis while you're pregnant um and you don't want that to happen so so hi those who just joined in so i'm just speaking about dental care and pregnancy and why dental care is a part of the your prenatal care while you're pregnant i'm sharing my experience while i was pregnant um i had loose teeth i had um i guess they would call it pregnant ging gingivitis um, when i would brush my teeth and gums would just bleed um my my gums were like extremely swollen extremely extremely swollen hey kiki how are you thanks for joining and um so and i am um, from the poll i did on my story it showed that 67 percent of women did not know that your teeth like pregnancy can affect your teeth only 33 percent knew and even some women on here are like wow i didn't even know that you know it can happen so i just want to you know share with you guys educate you guys of what can happen and and my experience so so yeah so some tips i'm going to share with you guys some quick tips that um i learned throughout the way and after um of how you can just take care of your teeth during pregnancy not even during pregnancy but de definitely before during and after um so first of all you want to go for a deep cleaning uh, I know my midwife, especially my insurance, they made sure I went for a deep cleaning while I was pregnant. So I went for a deep cleaning while I was pregnant. I believe um, it's recommended you get two cleanings a year. So you want to get two cleanings every six months. So definitely get a deep cleaning um, right, probably right in the beginning of your pregnancy or, you know, the first, second trimester of your pregnancy. Definitely go for a deep cleaning. And then maybe you want to go for one you know, right after you give birth or, you know, a couple of months down the line. You also want to use an electric toothbrush. This is the one I use from Oral-B. And this turns on like that. It's a really great toothbrush. Um, we're all adults, so nobody should be using a manual toothbrush. <laughs> so you definitely want to get a um, an electric toothbrush. Um, which mimics kind of what a dentist would do at a deep cleaning. And um, I've, all, I've actually been using a de uh, an electric toothbrush for a very long time, way before I became a mother. But I don't believe I was using it the correct way. So one of my dentists told me, um, you want to be brushing your teeth for four to six minutes. Don't Just because an electric toothbrush, don't think you can just go like you know, and rinse and you're done. No, you really need to spend time on each tooth brushing your teeth. He said four to six minutes you want to brush your teeth. He even said you want to brush your teeth three times a day, um, which I, I understand why, especially for me at that time. I believe I saw him when I was pregnant. He told me I need to be doing it three times a day because I had so much inflammation and um, I had lost some bone density. And he said not only do you want to brush your teeth, you also want to brush your gums like i guess i'll show you guys <laughs> not only just focus on the teeth but you also want to focus on your gums you know to keep that inflammation down and you know to make sure you even don't get inflamed gums so it's, you, you want to focus on your gums as well he even told me like even forget about the teeth because i, I had a really bad case just focus on my gums so four to six i mean four to six minutes with um each brush and he said three times um a day and then um you want to use the toothpaste i use during pregnancy 
and we still use it now is sensodines or sensodyne some people say sensodine sensodyne this is just a sample i have um they, they're really good toothpaste i know this one is a uh, sensitivity and gum i know they have some like um you know with enamel things like that but sensodine sensodyne is uh definitely recommended well my dentist definitely recommended me while i was pregnant even after and um one of the dentists told me um like after you finish brushing you want to take some of the sensodine sensodyne um, you can put it on your brush and just leave it there like massage it on your gums and just leave it there overnight until your next brush so it can you know sink sink into your gums and let it do what it has to do and kind of keep the inflammation at bay so which i thought was a really great tip which i, I thought that was a really really great tip and then you also want to floss i was not a a flosser <laughs> i was not a flosser to be honest but um becoming a mother really you know taught me that i really need to take care of my teeth like I, I really really need to take care of my teeth i thought i thought i was taking care of them before i always did go for cleanings um you know all the time but i really really need to take care of my teeth now um because the way my teeth were really loose they were it was really really scary <laughs> and i'm actually getting some dental work done now to be honest um so yeah so you want to floss this is the floss i use i just get this at dollar tree um yeah this pick and which also flossing helps with you know keeping the inflammation at bay of your gums and you you never know how much you know gunk you have down there in your teeth that the brush does not get um so you know this this helps as well to keep inflammation at bay and you know plaque and stuff at bay and um that that was also, oh a uh, one dentist told me um i recently got my teeth white and you guys know that um because i'm having some dental work done so i need my teeth whitened um before i get those done um she told me don't stop using um those colorful mouthwashes you know those green spearmint the blue mint that we like she said you want to use a clear mouthwash that's what she told me and um yeah that 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 was all that was all so i i don't know if you guys have any questions i just wanted to come on here real quick and just you know educate you ladies and gents on you know um dental care in pregnancy and dental care is a part of prenatal care like make it a part of your prenatal care i even heard of a story that this woman she had a tooth infection like during labor and um they would not allow her to have a vaginal birth she had to have a c-section i'm not sure medically why but i do know that two teeth and I mean, two and tooth infections and you know you know oral bacteria in the mouth and pregnancy do not mix it does not mix at all so make sure you ladies take care of your teeth you know before pregnancy and while you're pregnant and definitely after i don't know if anybody has any questions or want to come on here and um share their experience or expertise oh you're welcome Ajane. thank you <laughs> Anybody want to come um have any questions? I want to add anything. Hi Jen Femi. <laughs> How are you? Thanks for joining. I'm just speaking about dental care and pregnancy and why it's important and what can happen to your teeth um during pregnancy and just how to um also have um healthy oral, oral hygiene while you're pregnant. Anybody has any questions? Any questions? I'm glad you guys learned something. I wish, like, my teeth are still kind of loose. These two, these four front teeth, I would show you guys, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Any 
Anybody have any questions? Thank you guys for joining. So, you know, guys, I'm a big advocate, especially when it comes to motherhood and um, maternal health. So I knew this was something that I needed to share with you guys, you ladies and gents. So... So yeah, so you guys take notes, um, save this live, um, send it over to a mom um, that you know is expecting, um, save it for yourself. So when you're expecting, <laughs> did anybody ask the importance of taking your prenatals? No, nobody asked, but that's the reason why, Jen and Femi, you want to take your prenatals while you're pregnant. That's the reason why, because... You know, your baby is, you know, it takes a lot from your body, like calcium and, you know, things like that. So that's the reason why you want to be taking your prenatals while you're pregnant. Um, like I said, my, my first pregnancy, I don't remember my teeth, you know, going through any drastic changes. I don't remember. I, uh, I did go for deep cleaning my first pregnancy because they told me, you know, my midwife did educate me on, you know, what can happen to my teeth during pregnancy. And she was on me making sure I went for my dentist, dental appointments. Even my insurance call was like, we see you're pregnant. You know, you need to go for, you know, your deep cleaning. And these are the reasons why. But my second pregnancy, my teeth, it, it had a lot of wear on my teeth. I also was wearing braces at that time. So it was a lot of movement going on, a lot of pressure. And I also was um breastfeeding my toddler still while I was pregnant and I was taking my prenatals but you know it just it really just took from me <laughs> and um so I experienced severe um inflammation bleeding they would call it pregnancy gingivitis um which does not mean that I did not brush my teeth twice a um twice a day while I was pregnant it just means you know that's just what happened to my body while I was pregnant just like many things happen to your body while you're pregnant you know your hair may fall out you may lose your mind a little bit uh, you lose your shape <laughs> and um, your teeth you may lose your teeth like some women do lose their teeth while they're pregnant there was a two moms who um, talked about how they lost their teeth um, during pregnancy and um, yeah those are just some of the things that can happen and right after I gave birth, um, my teeth, they, they strengthened right back up. Like one or two weeks right after I gave birth, my teeth were like, my gums went right back to normal. My bottom teeth, like there was no more movement of them. The forefront teeth, they're still a few, um, a, like they still move a bit, but not as bad as they were moving when I was pregnant. I lost a lot of bone density on my front, my forefront teeth. There's a lot of bone loss on my forefront teeth, um, but that's okay because I have some break done in a few weeks <laughs> on them. So yeah. So and and what you want to do to keep your teeth healthy during pregnancy and even before pregnancy, but you want to go for your cleanings while you're pregnant, deep cleaning while you're pregnant. It's recommended you do. Uh, cleaning twice a year so every six months um, you want to use an electric toothbrush this is the electric toothbrush I use from Oral-B we're all adults nobody should be using a manual toothbrush and when you're brushing do not fight with your teeth <laughs> you really want to take your time on each tooth my dentist told me actually the dentist I saw because I had so much bone loss um, they call those a periodontist they're like a bone gum specialist he told me you want I need to um and people do need to take four to six minutes brushing their teeth like every tooth do not brush your teeth just because an electric toothbrush you know go like tin, 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 tin. you really need to brush your teeth like take time with every tooth and he even told me at one point like forget the teeth age you're like brush my gums because my gums were so inflamed and he didn't want me to have like any more bone loss so brush your gums as well four to six minutes he even told me i needed to brush three times a day and he recommends it for anybody um and then also he recommended sensodine sensodyne which is really really good um it's kind of pricey but it's really really good even another um dentist told me 
after I finish brushing, put the Sensodyne on the brush, but just wipe it on your gums and let it just sit there overnight and let it do what, you know, it has to do until your next brush. And um, yeah, I think that, that was all the tips um, tips I had. So yeah, I don't know if anybody has any questions. Anybody have any questions? I was going to oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oral B, you buy Oral B. I know um, Sonicare has a brand, Oral B Sonicare, and uh, I think there's this new brand called Breast. But you you want to make sure don't get a battery operated um, electric toothbrush. You want to get one that has a charger. Uh, my charger's in the bathroom, but you definitely want to get one that has a charger. Yeah. I don't know if anybody has any questions. I'm glad you guys are learning something. So definitely share this information um, with other women you know, with other moms. Even ask, you know, if you are for anybody on this live who's expecting, um, you know, ask your provider, you know, about this if you want to confirm with them ask them about it see what they say ask them those who said the 67 percent said the 67 percent who said no that their provider didn't talk to them about um what can happen to your teeth during pregnancy ask them why they never told you that because it's, it's very very important yeah you're on hey <laughs> you're welcome you're welcome so, any questions? I'll end it soon. Any questions? Hey, Kia. <laughs> any, any questions? So, I'll end the live in about one minute. If nobody has any questions, thanks for the hearts. gonna go back to folding clothes <laughs> so yeah so thanks for joining this live um if you're watching the replay thanks for watching definitely share it save it take some notes um i hope everyone learned something if you have any questions you can just dm me and um we'll talk soon thank you so much you guys good night bye